From the death of the dinosaurs to Russian dash cams, meteors crashing to Earth has been an important part of our development as a species. Today we'll take a look at a couple places where we can see the results of these world-shattering impacts. First off, the Tanumer Crater, located in modern-day Mauritania. It's a near-perfect circle, 1.2 miles wide. The crater ranges in age between 10,000 and 30,000 years old, roughly around the time that the woolly mammoth and other megafauna would have been roaming the Earth. Next, going north just a little bit to Algeria, we have the Oarkiz Crater. This crater is almost twice the size of the Tanumer Crater, roughly spanning 2.2 miles wide. This crater was thought to have formed around 70 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Something I think that's really cool about this crater is that you can see through the middle of it how a river has flown through it, and over its millions of years has ended up drying up. Third, we're going to go to modern day South Africa. Between 1.8 and 2 billion years ago, when Earth was primarily inhabited by microbial life and new land masses were still emerging, dinosaurs wouldn't be seen for several hundred million more years. A meteorite was traveling at an estimated speed of 34,000 to 56,000 miles per second and struck Earth, leaving behind a massive crater known as the Vertifort Impact Structure. It is the second oldest known impact structure on Earth. The original impact structure is believed to have had a diameter of at least 110 miles, with the surrounding area affected roughly 190 miles across. This means that the meteor that struck here would have been larger than the one that killed off the dinosaurs over 66 million years ago. However, this did not result in a mass extinction event due to Earth only housing single-celled organisms. However, it did drastically heat up the planet, paving way for new life forms to emerge. Finally, we're headed to Australia, north of Perth, to look at the oldest known impact structure on Earth, the Yarra Bubba impact structure. Thought to be 2.2 billion years old, the rim of the original crater has been completely eroded. Scientists have used uranium-lead dating to analyze and to determine the age of the impact crater. At a time in history when Earth was covered in vast sheets of ice, it's theorized that an impactor crashed into a four-foot sheet of ice, leaving an impact site estimated to be anywhere from 20 to 40 miles wide. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I love you.